guys, 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 it is officially confirmed. Bomb is a vessel. This changes the landscape of everything that we know, okay? Now, there have been so many theories going forward, okay? One, I'd like to point out, Vaza's dead, dead, dead. Vaza is dead. Oh my lord, Vaza is dead. Okay, Bomb, the son of Zahard, cooked. Absolutely cooked. That is one theory I have never liked, I've never subscribed to, and it's gotta be dead now, okay? Now, if you wanna try to loophole this somehow, feel free, I'm pretty sure we'll probably see some of them. But, Bomb is a vessel, okay? That has basically been confirmed this chapter. Now, the details surrounding that, we don't actually know. Um, I've been looking into old chapters, um, in like, you know, the one where Rachel tells Bomb, like, oh, that you were made for revenge. Um, she said that ages ago. Um, the same thing that V just said to him, that you're a child of revenge, you were made for revenge. This is it, guys. Like, this is, this is where we build the basis on how the story is created. How and what Bomb is, the, the history behind Zahard and um v and arlen and the family hits everything starts for after this point okay so if you asked me like six or seven months ago would we be here i didn't expect this um especially when v kind of just popped up towards like the latter half of this season um we we are at a point now where we can cancel a lot of theories a lot of them are dead and now we're 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 here okay so I didn't have pretty, any stock in this bomb vessel thing. I did throw out a couple of possibilities, but I've never like doubled down on it and said, oh, I think bomb's a vessel, blah, blah, blah. It was never a thing, so I won't claim to be the guy that's right. I just thought the idea of it was possible, you know. So shout out to those who guessed this. Um, you guys are winning. Um, very good guess. Um, you know, even the evidence that, that that's around supports this. With that being said about bomb, what do you guys think happened in that cave okay one theory that i saw um and it's kind of been floating around ever since we got the idea that v could possibly be inside a bomb is that rachel is arlen um i did see that too i saw that there was a possibility arlen put her body inside of rachel and v's body inside a bomb and they basically just kind of restarted i don't think that's really true at all i mean especially given that rachel doesn't have any abilities um like nothing no abilities she's she's trash right but something does like the knowledge that rachel has and the information that she's always had does matter okay she does i will say she does have derangement syndrome where she's kind of like in keto in a way where she's like kind of obsessed over bomb's relationship with arlen she's always been like obsessive about that and bomb's position and what he is her character is very close to Enkidu in terms of that so she always made it sound like she was someone who was looked over right um and we know that like zahara is not her father because she doesn't speak about Zahar. She doesn't show any resentment towards Zahar. Um, so towards Zahar. We've only ever seen her speak about Zahar like, oh, Zahar, Zahar, but he's like not shit either. Like that's basically kind of vibes that she gave us. Um, so guys, let me know what you're thinking. Um, is Rachel something else? Um, about the bomb vessel thing? Um, a lot of people, uh, Naruto, blah, blah, blah. Naruto isn't the first and it's not the last um for the possession thing like let's relax on that um some people are saying jjk sakuna blah 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 like jesus um mainstream i guess runs everything right but um yeah so let's dive into the chapter hit that subscribe button we opened up with that little nice piece right there um appreciate you um i'm dropping some shorts this week as well um and still got more content to come so um let's get it so the chapter starts off with enkidu enkidu takes off um, realizing that time is not on their side and to be the one to turn in the chess pieces, right? Because that's how the game works. We see that Belier, you know, Slime and Guru Slime are kind of chasing Yura and Rachel. And Dorsey is mixing with them. And, and Dorsey looks like she's about to beat the ass. Like, I was kind of hyped because she's finally going to get a, a decent moment because she hasn't had one in a while. But um, she actually ends up getting clapped. But this is a clap that was, like, unexpected and that we can't really understand. So Yura pulls out this cup. 
and it's kind of like a chalice, and it it, it expresses an attack that damages Endorsees to the point where she couldn't guard herself. She says that she took it from that place, okay? And Endorsey says it's not Shinsu that she was attacked with. So, okay, let's use some context. Who have we seen recently that shouldn't have Shinsu? The people from the Red Dump. The people from the Red Dump should not have access to Shinsu because they're in a space that's kind of cut off from everything else and you have to form a contract. And then also, who did we see unable to guard against an attack? Dawin. Dawin got absolutely torched by the Lightning Girl, but it's not even the fact that she got torched. She got one shot as a high ranker and she couldn't guard against it. So, you know, even that is a massive feat. But I'm thinking that whatever Yor took, it had to be from the Red Dump or the people who maybe she was aboard the ship at some point. She obviously got a weapon that isn't Shinsu, and that's not normal. That's not something that's just walking around the tower. So that part of it's interesting. And Dorsey, um, it got pretty much banged up from that. But um, during this chaos, Bellier is able to steal the chess piece back. And, you know, he's telling Yor, and I'm like, relax, I'm not going to screw you guys over. Um, him and Guru pop up in that crazy double panel and basically said that they're going to win the game and they'll still secure them a spot, right? During that, Kuhn pops up. Kuhn still has the chess piece back, and it's looking like a W for bomb side, right? So um, they take off with Bong Bong and Dorsey and Kuhn, and they head to the great match where they need to be exactly where the chessboard is to turn in the piece and win the game. Now, while they're doing this, they're asking Rack, like, Rack, where's your piece? We know that Rack threw it away, and we can call it a stupid plotty thing. But, I mean, it is something Rack would do, right? So, I'm not big on... I'm not worried about that. Because I know people are saying, like, oh, what a weird way to make the plot kind of converge the way it has. But, uh, y'all being too nitpicky, okay? Rack is that stupid. He always has been. So, um, and Kido finds this piece. And now we're at a standstill where Kido is like, look, if we exchange pieces... You guys can still win. And then Bomb pops up. Rachel and Yora pops up. And he's even telling Bomb, like, look, Bomb, you guys can win the game. I just want Trauma Reef's destruction. I want the Poe Beat Out's destruction. You guys can... Bomb really doesn't have a reason to defend Gustang or Trauma Reef, But he is hesitating here. And it's that weird morality thing. Like, you know what these guys are. You know what they've done. So why are you trying to defend them? But that's neither here nor there, okay? It, we'll, we'll get what we get with that. Mind you, I'm, I'm just a little bit confused about it at this point. I'm over the chess piece game. I know we all are. It's been a kind of a disastrous game when the rules were explained once. And it blah, blah, blah with that, right? So V. V talks to Bob. He asks him, why are you hesitating? You are a child of revenge. Once we hear that again. And then he tells Bomb, I'm going to borrow your body for a moment. And takes Bomb's body against his will because he says no. And then those last beautiful panels, we get V, who looks really good. I mean, he makes Bomb look like trash. How do you make the guy's body, whose body it is, make him look worse than his own body? Like, V absolutely looks... Pause. Good in Bomb's body. That sounds so crazy, but that's literally the truth. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's how the chapter ends, man. And some people think he's looking back at Rachel, um, which he could be, and that'll be interesting to see what their exchange will be. But that's it. So, y'all, what y'all theories are, man? This was a nonsense chapter. I mean, in terms of how bananas it was. Now, it's not 10 out of 10 because everything wasn't enjoyable. But um, I would give it a seven and seven and a half. Um, it was pretty damn decent. It's not bad at all. Um, it definitely um, walks down and kills a lot of theories. And we're walking towards a path of actual fact on where the story is going. So yeah, um, stream will be Friday per usual. That's not going to change. Um, I'll see you guys then. Um, Discord link below. You already know. Hit your boy. Deuce.